Now, if if basically what we're talking about is the right of the National the Council of States to grant pardon, then I think that is undisputed. Um, if we are talking about um, President Jonathan having granted pardon, then I think we are being uh, limited in our scope of the, uh, our perspective. How is pardon granted by the NCS? A family or a person put forward a petition. The president considers the petition. If he thinks it's worthy, he puts it forward to the Council of States. If the Council of States, which is made up, remember, of ex-heads of states, in this case, ex-heads of states include General Ibibi, uh, Babangida, General Buhari, President Shagari, um, Mr. Chivenes Shunekon, uh, and other distinguished uh, gentlemen, whom I'm sure we all believe are honorable men, and all the former chief justices of Nigeria, all serving governors, and quite a few other um, distinguished eminent Nigerians. If in their wisdom they consider whatever parameters are set before them and grant people a pardon, I would want us to respect their opinion. I find it disturbing, particularly, that there seems to be an excessive emphasis on the fact that it was Allah Messiah that was granted a pardon. Now, what is the brohaha really about? We are saying, people, or rather a lot of people are saying, no, he was um, convicted of corruption. What is corruption? The first and worst corruption in Nigeria is the corruption of the democratic space. So the very fact that military uh, adventurers come in, break the constitution, set it aside, and take over, removing us from the democratic path, is a corrupt and has as we have all noted, nearly all our travails began with military coups. Therefore, that is corruption in itself. Is it right, therefore, to grant military coupies or uh, to allow people who have plotted or been convicted or served in government having brought themselves into power through military coups is uh, is that morally right? Now, not going to uh, bear too long with this. President Clinton of the United States, whilst he was a sitting president, his brother was granted a pardon. What was his, what was his, what was his um, e what was the issue? Cocaine trafficking. Um, Hillary Clinton's half brother was granted pardon. Uh, there are so many different cases of pardon having been granted in the United States, the basic model on which we have fashioned our democracy. Are we saying that the National Council of States should not have granted Alame Seha pardon because he is a minority? Or do we forget the fact that the very I'm first sure speaker in this democratic minority. republic, this no, fourth republic, that, it was granted pardon for barely hours after he was convicted by President Obasanjo, after he was convicted of certificate fraud. I'm talking about uh, Buhari. We must understand that there is this prerogative. It is vested in the President and the National Council of State.